Hello everyone. Lately I've been a little busy. That's why it took me so long before I posted any video. So today we're going to talk about this AC servo drive made in China by a Chinese brand. It's capable of driving AC servo motors up to 750 watts. It's powered by AC one phase 220 or three phase 220. It's got an internal brake resistor or it can be connected to a more powerful external brake resistor as an added option. The reason why I'm going to take it apart is because my Z-axis motor has got a mechanical brake on it and I am not getting any signal for that mechanical brake from this servo drive. As an adequate DIYer, I of course tried to connect everything without reading an extra instruction and I think I burned the servo drive internal output optocoupler. So I opened it up, I looked it up and I ordered it. And now I'm gonna disassemble this servo drive and take a look at what's inside there and replace that optocoupler. Now I'm by no means a good reviewer, nor do I pretend to be. I'm just opening it up to take a look at it and maybe share some thoughts with you. At the first glance, it looks all right. Nothing seemingly wrong with this. Nothing looks burnt or that it let out the smoke or anything. And the circuit boards look pretty nice. Soldering is good. It's been coated with a varnish or shellac and it looks like they brushed it on. They didn't dip the entire circuit board in the varnish. All the electrolytic capacitors in this inside this servo drive are high temperature 105 Celsius rated capacitors. The connections seem all right. Nothing really wrong. Underneath there, that big plate that attached to the radiator is the internal brake resistor. And I can't seem to be able to position the camera so that you can see it better. But it's there. Other than the brake resistor, there are uh, power drivers, electronic drivers for the uh, motor itself for the motor phases and those are I think IGBTs although I'm not sure because I didn't take it apart completely to see what are those parts so we also see that Chinese brand decided that we need we don't need one big uh, capacitor or one more big capacitor so they just didn't put it on they did use the ceramic fuse in in this servo drive which is good it will not blow up if something goes wrong that's pretty much it for the power module portion of the servo drive now off to the control module uh, right off the bat we see that they did modify a few spots they added some capacitors the other side doesn't show anything out of ordinary either Everything looks nice and quiet. This schematic uses two processors and by the description of the processes, one uh, seemed to be a clocking processor, the other one is a digital signal processor. Whatever that might mean, I'm not uh, an expert in that. Now the circuit board is covered with varnish. It, uh, the varnish was brushed on just like on the other one. Now because we can't see which optocoupler is burnt, we need to troubleshoot and find one. We know that it's an output 4, that it is a brake output. And it is routed through pins 30 and 31 of the I.O. connector. We're going to find which optocoupler it is using an old reliable method of using a cheap multimeter and poking around. And I think I just found it. Next, we will start desoldering this old optocoupler 
by adding some flux to get the solder flowing and then easy just like that it comes off we use a solder wick to clean the contact pads and we get a brand new optocoupler and solder it on the board making sure that the legs or pins of the IC and the contact pads of the PCB align perfectly. It looks good enough. Now we need to clean the flux off using rubbing alcohol, some brush and a napkin. Putting the servo drive back together in reverse order and of course needless to say that it didn't work. Uh, I didn't get my output after I put it together. So I decided to look what do we get on the input side of the optic coupler. So I soldered a little wire like this to the input uh, portion of the optic coupler and connected it to the oscilloscope. Just to see what's happening before the optic coupler. And this is what we got, some gibberish, some crazy looking signal that did not open the optocoupler. For whatever reason, it just refused to give me a good signal. So after much troubleshooting and running back and forth and trying different things, I found that the original optocoupler that I just replaced wasn't burnt at all. It still worked. I tested it and it works. I played with different functions and options and I decided to use the floating output, uh, digital output 3, as my break output. So after some playing around with settings, I was able to achieve what I planned and it worked. Soon as the servo drive powers up, it releases the brake and holds the motor with a current that is provided to the motor. If you saw something interesting, please hit that like button, please also share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.